Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Wendy Jo. Let me introduce myself because I haven't done that in a little while. I am a wife, stay at home mom of five wonderful children and I have been working for myself for 25 years. We have eight streams of income. We make multiple six figures a year doing those things. And I got tired of seeing all of the people trying to educate others by getting you to buy that course in their link. And so I started creating videos of everything that I know, all of the ins and outs of the different businesses and um, putting them on YouTube for you, free education. So um, I don't even earn money yet from this channel because it is not monetized yet. So if you don't subscribe, please subscribe, maybe comment, boost us in the algorithms a little bit because I am working on getting this channel monetized because it does become yet another stream of income for us. So if you're interested in earning passive income or maybe not passive income, but just being able to build your own website, learning SEO, learning all the ins and outs of different ways to earn income, this is the place to be. Today, we're gonna actually jump in to a little bit more on how to be found on Google. I know I have talked about this in the past a little bit, but I wanted to kind of do a refresher um, with Etsy raising their fees. I know a lot of small businesses are thinking about jumping ship. Um, there's a video here on how to build a site on Equid and um, it basically just takes you behind the scenes of what it takes to get set up. I love Equid. Um, it is less expensive than Shopify and it does all the same things and it's just it's it's our go-to we have several businesses and they're all through equip um they even have a free option for those of you who are literally just getting started but anyway this one we're going to talk about how to be found on google um and you're going to have a website built first i would say that that would be step number one and then also watch this video on how to optimize your images for your website actually you should probably watch that one first because when you're building your website you want to make sure that your images have tags inside of them long tail keywords so that when people are searching for your items it's not only going to pull those words from your website it's also going to pull them from your images a lot of people don't realize that that's a possibility but it is so once you've done those two things you want to be found on google right and so this is going to be your next step so let's jump into this and i will show you how we have all of our businesses listed on google so that people can find us and they can shop from us I am not an SEO professional. Um, if you want to know the names of a couple of people that I would recommend, just comment or message me and I will let you know. Um, I have a couple of girls that I'm not actually friends with them, but I know them through TikTok and I know that they specialize in this sort of thing. Um, but I'm just sharing what I know. If you are just getting started and you're wanting to kind of like get things out there this is just another trick so this isn't so much seo as it is being just found on google and i've done a video on this in the past but i wanted to do an updated version of it number one because my camera quality has greatly improved since back then and they've also made a few little changes and so um, and I'm actually going to make a couple changes to our business while I'm in here just simply because I want to be able to share with you. So if you go to, there's a couple ways. If you've already got this set up, you can actually just Google the name of your business and it will pull up your profile and you'll be able to edit it right from Google. If you've never set this up though, just search Google my business and click on the Google business thing that shows up and then you'll come to this screen and you're going to hit this manage now button. And obviously for me, I've already got my businesses on here and so um, it's gonna pull up my businesses. If you didn't, it would have you add a new business. Um, so I can add a business here if I want to, add a single business and <clears throat> I can find and manage my business. So um, I'm just gonna kind of go with the flow on this and see what happens. I don't know how far I can get without actually having an actual business on here, but I'm gonna just do the Wendy Joe because that has really sort of become my brand. So this will help you start building your business profile. The Wendy Joe um, Passive Income Coach. Business category is business, we're gonna put business development service. 
do you want to add a location that customers can visit like a store or office? So no, obviously this is not somewhere where they can actually come physically, so I'm gonna hit that no. Obviously if you have a brick and mortar, then you can do that. Where do you serve your customers? So I'm just gonna put Voorhees Township, New Jersey, because that is where I live. And this is where you can add a whole bunch of different areas if you want um, people to be able to um, find you all over the globe, basically. Like if you are a global business, you could actually go back and you could just put um, United States. Like I could get rid of this and I could just put United States. Um, so if I do this, there we go. So I work with people specifically in Voorhees, but also all of United States. And <clears throat> what region is your business based in? United States. Add contact information. Um, and this is where you add your website. And if you haven't built your website, make sure to go here and learn how to build your own website for free. I use Equid, I love it. <clears throat> and um, I'm not gonna put a phone number right now because I am not gonna put my phone number out there because I don't wanna get contacted by a bunch of people. Please enter your mailing address. So this is what's gonna happen. <clears throat> they're gonna have you put your physical address in here and they're going to send you a card in the mail with a code on it. and. This will not be official official until you receive that in the in the mail and you put that verification code in there. And that's just to verify that you are who you are. So I hit verify later. Um, business hours, I can put that I'm open every single day, 24 hours a day. Um, and you have the option just to hit 24 hours on all of these. If you have actual business hours, you're gonna enter those in. Um, like if you have customer service hours where you actually are like talking with people, then you wanna add those in there. For me, I'm an online business. Um, and then you can add messaging where customers can actually message you. Um, this is where you're gonna add your business description. Um, and I'm just gonna put, I educate people for free on how to earn passive income from anywhere. Next. And then you add photos of your business. So this is where I would go in and add any photos. I want my logo. Um, so when people are searching for me, this is what they're gonna pull up, right? I'm again gonna skip this. Claim your $500 advertising credit. I'm pretty sure that when you claim this, that then you have to spend that much to get that much. So I'm not doing that. I don't do paid ads. So I'm gonna skip that as well. Your business profile is almost ready. You can continue making updates and edits to your profile anytime. Your edits will be visible to customers on Google after you've been verified. And how you get verified is they send you that card in the mail and you put in that code and then you're set. So my business is not visible to customers yet because I'm not verified. But that is how you set yourself up on Google. It's that simple. And so if I search our business, which is Davis Design Market, I show up on Google. Now obviously for me, it's gonna show up slightly different just because um, I am the owner. It's gonna show me all of these things. And this is what I was telling you at the beginning. Um, this will actually um, allow you to go in and edit your profile, to promote, to see who your customers are, all of those types of things. Um, <clears throat> And then you can see Davis Design Market. And we show up, if somebody searches Davis Design Market, we literally show up everywhere because we've had articles written about us. We are um, on house and we were on HGTV. So there's a lot of things that show up connected to our business name. But we've also done a lot of work to, um, you know, get our name out there again recently. So that is the basics of how it looks. Um, obviously, once you have yourself set up and you're verified, you can go in and you can create posts. Um, your posts will appear on Google services across the web, like maps and searches. Your posts must comply with Google's policies. Um, I do know that like some of the policies they have, you can't like sell um, nutrition, CBD type stuff on here just because we have worked with some companies that have those products but you can create posts here, update your status. You can add a button where people can book with you, order online, and you will actually be able to link up 
to your website where they can purchase whatever it is you're talking about. You can do an offer if you want to do a, you know, I don't know, March Madness 10% off everything, use this code, add a photo. And when you can publish over and over and over on Google, you can add this just like if you were posting to Pinterest or Etsy or anywhere else, you can post things on your Google site and this is one of the best ways to be found on Google. Here's the other thing, you can actually add products directly to Google for from your website that people can shop. If you wanna be shoppable on Google, this is the best way to get it there. You're gonna add a photo of your product, a product name, select a category for the product so that Google knows where they're searching from. Remember when you upload that photo, make sure you've optimized it first. So go watch that video on that if you haven't. You're gonna put your price or you can show a price range. So like if you're selling a sweatshirt and it ranges anywhere from 20 to $32, depending on what they customize it with, then you can actually show a price range. Product description, make sure you're using those long tail keywords in your description. Uh, and then again, you add the button here and they can order online or buy whichever you want it to be and then you will have the link. And so when somebody Googles green lip gloss, that's something that my daughter sells. She has a green lip gloss, um, it's a boba tea lip gloss. So if somebody Googles green lip gloss and my daughter's lip gloss shows up, then they're gonna see a picture of it and they're like, ooh, I wanna buy that. So then they can click that buy button and it's gonna take them directly to their website. So this is just another way to be found on Google and um, the, I think the biggest thing I can say is just don't get overwhelmed. For me, it's very easy to get overwhelmed because we have so many different businesses and there's always something that needs to be tweaked or updated or whatever and you can only do so much in a day. So um, spend a day getting your website set up, spend a day getting your photos optimized and then go in and get yourself set up on Google. Again, this isn't gonna show up for you until you get verified anyway, but once you are verified, then I will tell you that, um, let me see, I'm trying to see if I can find my actual business pages so you guys can see um, all of our businesses. Okay, see how they all say verified, and then this one says verif verification required. And that is because um, these have all had the, the uh, postcards sent to us and we have put in the code and then we're verified and this one is not verified yet because I haven't finished the process. And I will probably go ahead and finish this up because I am building this business, building my YouTube channel, even though I don't really sell anything other than some digital downloads through this, um, I do still offer the free coaching through my YouTube channel, so why not show up on Google as well? Which YouTube pushes things to Google, but um, if I'm there in multiple locations, it just increases the chances that I'm gonna show up on a Google search. So I hope this helps you guys. Again, if you have questions, put them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss any of the tutorials that we put up. You know, I am all about providing free education for you guys. That is the whole point of this channel. Um, these gurus that are out there that sell courses for thousands of dollars um, are making their money off of their courses, not necessarily off of their businesses. Not everyone, but a lot of them. Um, and so you just have to be super careful uh, who you're paying for courses from. And that is why I'm like, Everything I've learned over the last 25 years, I share with you as I learn new things, I share them. Um, as things get updated, I share them. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those updates and I will be back soon with another tutorial.